Hello everyone, it's Dylan from Yu-Gi-Oh! Everything and welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush episode review. This time we are reviewing episode 102, the season 2 finale, the duel between Udeus and Yuamu. How did we get here? Well, it started with Yuhi and Yuga dueling, but due to circumstances, uh, those two were removed from this duel and replaced with Yuamu fighting on the side of Yuga and Udeus fighting on the side of Yuhi. How did I feel about the episode? How did I feel about the arc? How did I feel about the season? Well, let's start with the episode. Thought it was really good. Thought it was a really, really strong conclusion. And it's a classic Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush episode where it answers some questions, but leaves you with more questions that you didn't have previously than answers that you obtained to questions that may have been answered. Hopefully you followed along there, because um, it made sense in my head. I don't know if I explained that well. The arc itself, I think, is the strongest arc of the show so far. I think the arc was masterfully done. There really weren't that many low points for me. I thought the stakes were always pretty high, and I think that the way that this episode wrapped things up was done in a really, really good way. Um, and the season as a whole, the season was good. I liked it a little more than season one. You know, it, it had its ups and downs, but we're not really going to talk too much about the season overall. Really strong ending for the season and really strong episode. So the duel commences. You got the whole, um, you know, get black hole that is a portal to what our characters are assuming is the future. Um, and it probably is the future. I, I don't think I would dispute that. The real question is going to be, was it Yuga's future? Was it Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's episode 92? And does Yuga get back to the character that we see at the end of episode 92? I'm going to have a whole video coming out on that, whether I think he made it back or not. Um, on Sunday, I'm sure if you've watched Crazy 8s or The Watch Long, you know my opinion on it. We'll dive a little deeper into that. Short answer here in the review, no. I, I am convinced beyond all means that Yuga, who ends up going through this portal at the end of the episode, does not make it back to Yu-Gi-Oh! 7s, at least in that motion. But, you know, we'll save that um, towards the end or, or for a different video. Um, so the duel commences with this big looming threat um, about to suck them all in. And Yuumu summons Seven's Road Ultima Witch. It's a beautiful monster. It reminds me a little bit of like uh, Master of Seven's Road, like the, the Seven's Road Magician fusion monster. What was really fascinating about her is during her summon animation, we see a shot that is literally ripped from a page of the Seven's book that was very vital in Otis's journey uh, throughout Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens. There's still a lot of mysteries when it comes to that book. There's a lot of unanswered questions. The fact that they are keeping that book relevant at the same time that they are making us wonder what Otis's true identity is. Is it Yuga? Is it Yuamu? Is it somebody else? Is very, very telling to me that that book is still going to be important. But I love that. And hey, you know what? For those of you that think Yuamu is Otis, I think that probably is another tally mark that you can put next to that theory that maybe implies the same the fact that she's summoning this new fusion ace monster um and its sequence is from the book i think that's very very interesting um and it's a really really gorgeous monster so yumu's not able to beat udius and they you know have a little bit of a conversation and something that i love about udius in this episode and just in general the warrior mentality the heart that he has at no point did he ever show any sort of anger, any sort of frustration, any sort of hatred towards Yuamu for making the decision to fight alongside Yuga? And it's very easy. It's a very human thing to hate someone who is trying to prevent all of your people from being revived. I mean, this is like a, a pretty serious thing that Yuamu is standing up against. But Udius deep down knows that she's doing it. Um, for what she believes is the right reason, not because she hates Valgirians, and, you know, we get into that a little bit later on. I thought her and Udius both had some really great humanizing character moments. Um, Yuamu taking Yuga's side, as I said in the last episode review, makes total sense. Yuamu was the one that had the empathy seeds planted back in episode 62. She had a great, strong bond to Yuga. I think a stronger bond than Yuhi had towards Yuga. More empathy towards Yuga that was shown in episode 62 and they went into Seven's world. And so when push comes to shove here, you know, her great, great, great grandson is all alone, completely alone, fighting this battle, 
for what he believes is right, not to spite the Valgirians, because he doesn't want Monster Reborn to wreak havoc on the world like it did in his timeline, and Yuumu gains that knowledge. Yuumu gains the knowledge because her and Yuga, excuse me, her and Yuhi, both gain Yuga's memories because of the effects of Monster Reborn. So Yuumu is quipped with all of this knowledge in regards to the destruction that Monster Reborn can cause. So for her to fight with Yuga, it makes, it makes complete sense. And I, I loved her talking about that. And Udius has a very scary moment here because we all assumed, including me, I was totally wrong on this. I got no problem admitting when I'm wrong. I'm wrong quite often, <laughs> as you guys know. I did not think Udius was going to be affected in any way by dueling. I thought he was immune to it. I thought he'd be the last one left. Um, he gets affected in the middle of this duel and he continues to fight on. And Damamu basically saves Udius and Quidul and Udius are able to have a conversation thanks to the power of um, of Damamu. And again, just one of those little nuggets, right? Little reminders that Damamu is this really, really, really powerful being. Like they are. They, they, they are an incredibly powerful being and they help pretty much save Udius. And Udius has a conversation with Quidul. And what does Quidul tell him? Well, he tells him a couple of things. One, that Monster Reborn is not going to work. Monster Reborn would not be able to revive the Valgirians. Um, and so that's why the episode is called There's No Victor in Space. Because it literally does not matter even if Udius wins and they get Monster Reborn off. It, it's not going to save the Valgirians. Uh, which is really, really a damning, daunting reality. But I love that we went in that direction. Because I didn't want the Valgirians to get revived so quickly after they had just been killed off four, five, six episodes ago. Let that future really set in. Let it marinate a little bit. You know, you don't need to revive your characters immediately. If they get revived in season three, you know, whatever. I thought it would have been a bit of a mistake to do it this quickly. I'm happy they're not doing it. And it's a classic, like, all right, plan A is Monster Reborn. Okay, plan A failed. What's plan B? I don't know, but we got to figure it out. And that's kind of where this episode and this season leaves off on. And I think it's a it's a cool, but also like a little bit of a an ominous note to leave off on, which I really do enjoy. The other thing that Quidul tells Udius, beware of the Odos. We will have to fight an Odo, which when I first heard it, I'm like, well, you're fighting an Odo now. All right, Quidul's talking about in the moment. Then I thought about it more... And I don't think it's about the moment. I think it's about season three. Yuumu, something happens to her in this episode. The duel goes on. I know I'm kind of hopping all over the place. The duel goes on. Udius wins. Felt like that was the obvious choice. Also, Yuumu, the first girl character ever to duel in a season finale duel. So Yuumu, we can call her the history maker uh, because that is an awesome, awesome achievement for her. Yes, she did not win. Uh, but that being said, she put up a great fight. And the fact that we even have... You know, a girl character in a season finale duel, I think, shows how far Yu-Gi-Oh! has come in terms of the treatment of its girl characters, which I think is really, really cool. So, Udius wins. We all kind of expected it. Um, and then, Yuga has to go home. Yuga is in a catatonic state, right? He's knocked out. He's unconscious. And they send him through the wormhole. Now, this was pointed out to me. I did not realize it until it was pointed out. But opening the door to allow Yuga to get out of the rocket ship that he came to the to the past in and go through the portal was all of the variant characters in that main crew. It was Zion, it was Asaka, it was the Lug, it was Manabu. Thought that was really, really cool. Nice little touch there. Nice little callback to Sevens as this, you know, episode, especially at the end of it, really did have a lot of callbacks to the season two finale of Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens. And so Yuga goes, he goes through the portal and that's it. Right? Happy ending for Yuga. He's home. He's home safe. No. <laughs> and I mean, again, I'm sorry to be that guy, but come on, man. This studio has been so meticulous with their details. There are way too many inconsistencies for me to just assume that Yuga has been teleported back into that moment that we see at the end of Seven's episode 92. I just don't believe it. Again, I'll have a video coming out a little more in-depth on it on Sunday. But Yuga leaves. Will he come back in Season 3? Honestly, I'm 50-50 on it. I think he will because I do not believe that his story is done. I do not believe he got where he needed to get. I also think Goha Yuna, who I feel horrible for. Yuna did not have any final moments with Yuga. Her whole character 
was been had been driven really by wanting to confess her feelings towards Yuga, building up the courage to finally talk to Yuga and let him know. Um, and she gets the door metaphorically um, and quite literally slammed in her face um, as she is basically alone in a couple of shots. Uh, we know the stuff with Rovian that went down. Yuna is is alone now. And is Yuna going to do something desperate in Season 3 that has her searching for Yuga, maybe trying to also timeline hop? I would not put it past Gohai Yuna. Also a very ominous scene at the end that Yuna's kind of involved in, but not really. It's just that her shot of being in Yuga's now you know, desolate laboratory is right after it. Asaka talks about sealing up Monster Reborn. Obviously, she's not going to destroy it because it's kind of Asaka's personality trait to be like, hey, we might be able to use this for something down the road. We don't have a use for it now. We have to keep people's hands off it. Also, it's property of me, right? It's much of a property. It's property of mine. I don't want anybody's hands getting on this. This card has potential. Let's not destroy it. Let's lock it up. Keep it in the vault. That is going to be a big plot point. Someone's going to steal Monster Reborn. At least that is my thought on it. Would it be Yuna? I don't know. They showed her right after. They showed the Goha logo as well. I, I, I don't really know what was being implied there, but I didn't get a, a pleasant vibe from it. So her character really, really intrigues me. Yuga's gone for now. Sevens or wherever on the timeline, you know, to be theorized. Yumu's on the moon with Yuhi and Udius. They're heading back to the ship to get back to Earth. Yumu turns around. She smiles at Yuga leaving through the, the wormhole. Now, the wormhole, we know you can go from Go Rush to whatever's on the other side of it, whether it's the Sevens World or a different timeline. What's preventing something from coming the other direction? Did something come from the other side of the portal, from the future, into our world? A malevolent being, a malevolent group, a malevolent property. A very malevolent thing happens to Yuumu, where she is smiling off at Yuga, and she gets completely engulfed and stolen, abducted, if you will, by this black goop that just grabs her. And in a split second, Yuhi turns around and she is gone. Much like Odo Yuga vanished at the end of Season 2 of Sevens, Odo Yuamu vanishes at the end of Season 2 of Go Rush. And we now are not only looking for a cure to bring back the Valgirians, Season 3 will be find and save Yuamu, but man oh man, that scene strikes me for a couple of reasons. I, I'll just be honest, and I've gotten some flack for it, I feel like Yuamu may have been aware of what was about to happen. I'm not going to go into too, too much depth about that, that is a, a total theory, but I just would not be surprised, you know, Yuamu even saying to Yuga, I'll take it from here, after the duel was over, clearly she has something in mind. I would not be surprised if she was almost expecting that to happen. Now, we have to wait and see. I just pray that she is not going to be brainwashed, that she is not going to be a damsel in distress, like we've seen so many times with Yu-Gi-Oh!, especially with Yu-Gi-Oh! girls. That's the only thing that I, I really hope for. Whether she knew it was going to happen, whether she, she didn't know, although she didn't know, I think the brainwashing possibility is much, much greater uh, than not. I just hope that Yuumu, I love the direction they went in her cat with her character. It was a great direction. The execution's got to be there, though, guys. And I, I just hope that it is. She's on the right track. She's trending upward. Let's see what happens with her. But Yuumu disappears and is taken by a mysterious group that might be from the future, from the portal that opened. It might be totally unrelated. I don't know. I just feel like Yuumu is now going to be going up against our main crew. And we see our new main crew at the end of this episode. It is Udius. It is Yuhi. It is Epoch. It is Damamu. Damamu, I lean more favorably towards them. Epoch, I lean more disfavorably. Um, she's got, you know, she's young. She's got a lot of chance to, to grow and, and shine here now that she is going to be kind of our pseudo girl lead heading into season three. You know, I don't, I don't love the group in comparison to some of the other groups that we've had throughout Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush, and just some characters that, you know, like Asaka I like a lot, Yuna I like a lot, um, you know, Bochi, <laughs> I'm mentioning Bo Bochi was obviously not going to be in the group, but there's other characters that I do enjoy. Um, Damamu, I I'm pretty indifferent on, but, you know, they don't they don't bother me. 
And Epoch, I don't love the cheating aspect of her character. And, you know, we'll see. And also talking in, in riddles and, and rhymes and, you know, backwards. It, you know, it, it's hard to uh, discern that sometimes. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Overall, I am very, very excited. feel like the parallels between Go Rush Season 2 and 7 Season 2, the endings with an Odo disappearing with a little bit seemingly of a time skip with seeing what all of our characters are now up to. But the one difference is that Go Rush continues and that is very exciting there's no episode coming up this weekend so we will have to wait for episode 103 but guys those are my thoughts on episode 102 of Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush the season 2 finale please let me know all your thoughts down below thank you so much for watching and I hope you have an amazing day take care guys wow.